Hi, hello, and welcome back to Boss Boxing Predictions number 65. Yes, well, this weekend there are a few good fights also. Well, actually more so than the last one, I'd say. Even though the last one had a really good and important fight, of course, on the chain courses versus uh, Linares. That was some fight, wasn't it? Yeah, and now we have a, uh, well, let's go to the first one. Uh, first in, in Leeds, England, Leeds Selby versus Josh Warrington. <laughs> this is the big domestic uh, featherweight showdown because uh, Lee Selby is, of course, the champion, IBF champion. He's almost, well, <laughs> he's not undefeated, but he hasn't lost for really a really long time. He has only one loss, which was a close uh, points loss. While Warrington is undefeated uh, right now at 26 and 0. Neither guy is perhaps a really hard puncher here because both guys are more technicians and you know kind of bring the the pressure. Warrington is perhaps the more aggressive fighter, but uh, he's not. A, he doesn't have so much power. He's got only six KOs in twenty six victories. That's just not a lot. Even though he scored. A, TKO in the 10th round in his last fight against Dennis Ceylon and also he stopped Patrick Highland in 9 rounds but he also went the distance against Joel Brunker whom Selby stopped of course in 9 rounds so yeah Selby has got 9 KOs just a little more in the same amount of victories 26 of course, Selby has fought better, better opposition so far. He beat Jonathan Victor Barros last year, and Eric Hunter before that. And uh, Selby has only been down once so far uh, as a pro, and that was against Eric Hunter. He also beat Fernando Montiel and Evgeny Gradovich, of course. Uh, as much as those victories are worth. So, uh, this will be, I guess, one of his best tests so far. Because uh, Warrington, I've seen him fight, and he's a, he's a rather good fighter, a good technician, I guess. He'll, he looks rather tough also and strong for a featherweight. So, this will not be an easy test for Lee Selby, but at the same time, I think Selby is just a better fighter. But how much better we will find out uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. So, uh, what else to say about that? Well, Selby, I think, will do his usual you know, moving and boxing. You know. I don't think there is such a big chance of a knockout happening here, but you never know. If it does, then it will be Selby, of course, who will most likely do it. So I think Selby will win, even though this is an, on Warrington's ground in Leeds, but uh, still I think you know, there should be fair judging, of course, because both guys are from Britain. Yeah, so that was that fight. Selby to win on points. Then there is a good fight in USA. Gary Russell Jr. is fighting the undefeated Joseph Diaz. And Gary Russell has only lost to Lomachenko so far. He's a very good, I mean, uh, some say that he has been sleeping in the last, 
uh, year or so, but I, I don't know. He has been rather impressive as a champion. He's a uh, score. He is uh, all of his three uh, world title fights are he won by knockout. He also stopped the aforementioned Patrick Highland, Highland in two rounds only. And Oscar Escano and of course Johnny Gonzalez he stopped in four rounds only. He's a very fast guy, you know, he's got speed and he's got power and uh, he's all about, you know, fast attacks and, you know, just getting them out as fast as possible, I, I guess. Well, Joseph Diaz, I don't know that much about, but uh, he looks just like a very solid body puncher, you know, and uh, I guess he can box um, because he's one. A few fights, quite many on points actually. He beat Jason Velez on points. That was a very clear de decision. And he knocked out Victor Terrazas in his last fight in fe February. Oh, yeah. This 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 promise to this I like this because you you don't really know who is going to win here of course you you know Russell is is the favorite but he's not a, like a clear favorite like you know it, there is a good chance of an upset you know, so but still I think I have to go with Gary Russell because. Uh, I know that he is a very good fighter. He's quite complete, you know. He's got the the style, the the, the technical ability, and he's got speed and power. So of course anything can happen, but I think Gary Russell will perhaps win. I don't know. You will have to, of course, dig deeper, I think, this time. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if he can win by a stoppage here, because... Uh, well, the last time he won on points, actually, was in December 2014. He didn't fight so much, you know. Uh, he's only had... Uh, this is his fourth fight in the last three years, so that's not much. He's had three fights in two years. Yeah, when well, it's it's usual to have like six fights at least for in two years. Well, anyway, yeah, this is actually also his first fight in in a year because he fought. Oscar Escano on 20, May 20 at last year, so I'm not sure how much that will affect him. Perhaps, perhaps it may be, you know, his downfall, who knows. So yeah, everything is possible here. But at the same time, you know, he also didn't fight for 13 months and he beat Escano, even though I think Diaz is He's a better fighter than Escanon, and uh, Diaz is uh, well a little bit taller, it's five foot six, while Russell is five four and a half. Yeah, well, I don't know really. I can see Diaz. I can see Diaz winning, even perhaps by a. Uh, Stoppage, perhaps he's a good body puncher, but I don't, I don't think really he can. He will stop Gary Russell, but maybe he can win on points. So uh, yeah, let's say that uh, I have seen some some others pick Diaz, you know, here. So why not? Let's say he wins by a split decision or something. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, then there is the main fight between Adonis Stevenson and Badu Jack. 
Adonis has now been a champion for five years almost. So uh, he's made uh, eight defenses of the WBC light heavy title. And uh, Badu Jack, he has vacated his uh, WBA title. I think he, he vacated it so. He beat Nathan Cleverly by TK in the fifth round before that. He also beat George Groves. It's a really big victory since Groves didn't lose after that. He defeated Chris Eubank and you know he stopped uh, Fedor Chudino. So uh, this guy is really good, you know. I think he will be the one who will uh, finally dethrone Stevenson. And uh, Stevenson is, of course, 40 years old, while Jack is 34. Jack has a 2 inch height advantage, and, uh, and but Stevenson has a, actually a 4 inch reach advantage. Wow. So, anyway, uh, Stevenson, of course, has a puncher's chance, but. Uh, you know, Jack is just a good, good all-round fighter, and he does nothing great, but he does everything well, you know, so, yeah, his punching power is okay, you know, it's rather good, he is not a, a one-punch guy, you know, he's like, more like a break-you-down guy, with many punches, but anyway, uh, he's definitely got power because he stopped cle cleverly in five rounds and he also uh, put the gale down and uh, yeah and and george gross of course so he's only lost once that was really just a, a an unlucky blowout you know against derek edwards it was just he got caught so, uh, Stevenson, even though he has looked also strong in his last fight, which was last year against Andre Fonfara, and he won his last three fights by KO, but, you know, how, how is his form now? We don't know, you know, that he is turned 40. So I think I will... I pick uh, Badu Jack to win here actually. On points, I think. Stevenson has been stopped once, but it was a long time ago, uh, 2010. Of course, against Darrell Boone. So he hasn't lost in eight years, which is quite impressive, of course. Yeah, so, but I think Jack can be the one who, that can end that streak, of course. We'll see. Well, that was all for me now. This was a, a little bit shorter video. <laughs> that's, that's good sometimes. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.